today's maths class. Today we are going to deal with the first chapter in maths for your 7th standard. In life we go through some situations where we go negative and sometimes we go positive. But we always like to stick on to positive thoughts. When negatives are coming we try to turn them into positive thoughts. So in 7th standard also in the first chapter we are going to deal some numbers which are positives and which are negatives. Till now we had learned about some numbers which are called counting numbers or even they are called natural numbers. So natural numbers usually we go for starting from 1, 2, 3, 4 and it continues like that. And this family is called natural numbers. After that we told when we are getting one more number to this natural number family it comes as whole numbers whole numbers are starting from 0 0 1 2 3 they are constituting the family of whole numbers and as you have learned before you have learned something called predecessors of numbers for example can you tell me what's the predecessor of number 4 yes your answer is correct. The predecessor of 4 is 3. Can you tell me the predecessor of 2? Yes, it is 1. If it is 1, can you tell me the predecessor of 1? Okay, that is 0. Now, can we think about a predecessor for 0? Is it possible to have a predecessor of 0? Or is it possible to have a number below 0? Can you tell me any situation where we go for numbers which are below zero? Have we heard about something like that? Yes, what we told is correct. We have situations like temperature below zero or places which are below Z level. Even we get negative marks or marks below zero for quiz competitions. There are many situations where we have used numbers below zero. So we are going to expand the family where we are adding numbers below zero also. That means we are going to get some numbers below zero and above zero and this family becomes integers. And this is your first chapter for seven standard integers. The numbers above 0 are called positive integers and the numbers below 0 are called negative integers. So the positive and negative integers together with the 0 constitute the family of integers. And it is very important to note that 0 is neither positive nor negative. Let's denote these numbers on a number line. On a number line, the numbers to the right of 0 are positive and to the left of 0 are negative. When we move to the right, the value of numbers increases while towards the left, the value decreases. This idea is used to compare integers. Look at each pair of integers and compare them. Since both are positive integers in the first example, we can write the answer as 12 less than 20. Let's take the next example 0 and 20. As you know, all positive integers are greater than 0. The answer will be 0 less than 20. And for the next example, negative 20 and negative 12, as we know, the value decreases to the left of 0, the answer can be negative 20 less than negative 12. Practice the exercise questions and the remaining part of the lesson will be discussed in the next class.